I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. Hey there everyone, Frontier here, and welcome to Oblivion. So as part of my, uh, you know, 10-year celebration type thing, I'm going back to an LP I've tried to do a few times, and this time going through with it. So I'm not going to go too crazy with, like, actually, like making a character per se but I'm getting a few things situated you know fuck it we out here with purple ass hair long purple ass hair so I'm going with a Breton because uh, they have magic resistance so fuck yeah why would you pick anything else man oh this FOV is not good ah yeah saw the tutorials Let's gotta do this. Set custom FOV to 110. So now that'll stay there forever. There we go. Gotta get that size down. So this guy's gonna start talking here, but I would just like to mention that this is essentially 99.5% vanilla. Uh, I do have mods installed, like the unofficial patch. I have um, a UI thing that I've downloaded just kind of makes the icon smaller. Uh, the keychain mod, which is stops the keys from fucking gumming everything up. I have uh, a mod that lets you see your body in first person it's for more, a little bit more immersiveness. Likewise, uh, in third person, the camera doesn't like kind of sway, like kind of have a lag to it. And I think that's it. The The most non-vanilla friendly thing I have is Oblivion XP, which changes the leveling system, hence what that fourth bar is above my health. Uh, it kind of changes the leveling to a bit like Fallout, because Oblivion's got a really weird leveling system. I'll explain that more as we go on. Pale skin, snotty expression. You're a Breton. The masters of Magicka, right? <laughs> Nothing but a bunch of stuck-up snobs with cheap parlor tricks. Go ahead. Try your magica in here. Let's see you make those bars disappear. No? What's the matter? Not so powerful now, are you, Breton? You're not leaving this prison till they throw your body in the lake. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Breton. You're going to die. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. 
All right, real quick, I'm just going to back up just to get ahead of the curve. So, yeah, Bredon's racial skill is Dragon Skin. So you shield half damage for 60 seconds on yourself. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on 8. I'm just going to go ahead and get some spells ready here. Uh, this is part of the unofficial patch. Uh, I will go into more detail about what I'm going to do after we get started. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. As usual, mix up with the watch. I... Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. No sign of pursuit. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. What's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Uh, who are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. Well, what should I do? You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your lucky day. Just stay out of our way. I should mention I'm also using the FOV modifier mod, so that means I have to use Oblivion Script Extender. So yeah, sorry, I've kind of forgot those. I'm also using uh, an icon pack, so spells should have unique icons as opposed to just looking all exactly the same. See, so, yeah, I've played the intro of this hundreds of times, I'm sure we all have. But usually when I play this, I install an alternate start mod, but for the sake of the let's play, I wanted to keep it as vanilla as possible, while still having some extra, you know, good stuff for me. Hey man, I'm trying. Yeah, you want to be careful when trying to, like, fire here, because otherwise you'll just fucking hit him. So, I just like to go through and check everyone's pockets. Well, only one potion. She's dead. Oh, two potions, hell yeah. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. You got it. To ready your weapon or fist, push R. Yeah, so immediately the second they left, the second they leave, we get attacked. Now, I really just want to like explain Oblivion's leveling system to the best of my ability because it's really fucking terrible. Um, do I want these? Maybe. Okay, so yeah, crawling through the good old dungeons of the Imperial City. Yeah, so this is just the here's how you play the game tutorials. So I don't remember if like you can equip a torch when you have a one-hander? You can. <laughs> well, we're about to get that shit put right away. When I... Uh... A. Set this rat on fire. And B. Get this shield. Now, I don't know, I'm like... I kind of like playing... Oblivion as like an all-arounder. 
It's just kind of what I've always done, what makes sense to me. Wow, this really has zero attack. And so, seeing as how I'm using the Oblivion XP mod, by the way, I don't think I need to suffer through Oblivion's, quite honestly, terrible uh, uh, leveling. I'm just going to use these arrows here. Hell yeah. And like I said, I will explain that when I'm making my class later on. Yeah, so it's like, oh, here, you want to practice shooting? No, I don't. But for the time being, I will just use the torch. So here we got some scrolls, which are just one-use spells, which I shouldn't have picked up that key to explain. Oh, here we go. So lockpicking in Oblivion is a little weird. If it's a very easy lock, you see how that kind of went up slow? That's what you're looking for, I believe. I don't know. I'm not really well-versed in this game anymore. So, yeah, so now the game wants us to cast a spell, which we've already done. So instead, let's just fucking kill this thing. Uh, instead, let's just kill this thing. Yeah, gotta get learned... learned? I gotta get used to this game again. It's been a long time since I've played it. Now I'm just going to stick with light armor. Now, back in the day, I planned on doing, like... You know, like three playthroughs, a warrior, a mage, and a stealth guy, but with a Breton, you can be literally everything. So I'm hoping that I can kind of uh, do something along those lines. Yeah, we have a whole lot of magicka, so we can kill everything with fire. Now, the only reason why I've been grabbing these ingredients is for making like a potion because I don't know I like I said I still know exactly how Oblivion XP works I'm assuming I don't have to deal with Oblivion's ass backwards um the system of leveling like I said I'll explain that before we leave here sorry I keep mentioning it but not explaining it now as far as I don't know, the three, the three Elder Scrolls games go that I have have any sort of knowledge in. Uh, I think Oblivion's my my favorite of the, of the three. I really haven't played that much Morrowind, so I can't really explain anything about that besides Cliff Racers. I've at least played enough Morrowind to deal with those fucking things. Man, really? I'm trying to sneak, and these guys are just too fucking good. So you get burned instead. There is one more rat that has not seen me. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so if you're going with heavy armor, come down here and you'll get a few rusty iron. Well, you get a helmet and a heavy shield. And you get a two-hander. Uh, Skyrim? I don't know. I kind of turned around on Skyrim. Like, I played it on PS3, which was a huge mistake. Well, I mean, that's what I get for only having a PS3 at that time. So I didn't have a PC that could run Skyrim. Uh, and then, uh, like, pretty much after I beat Skyrim, I didn't play it for, like, two years until it went on sale and I got on my PC that could then run it. Uh, and then I played it a little bit. And, and I don't know, like, after I kind of gave it another shot and modded it, I had a lot of fun with it. But, I don't know. I mean, like, if you look at my Steam, I have more hours in Skyrim than Oblivion. But if we take all of my playthroughs of, like, you know, my time on Xbox 360, I probably have, no joke, over a thousand hours of Oblivion on my 360. There's just something about the setting. That's why you can't undock arrows, so let's just go into the rat. There's just something about the setting of Oblivion, the world... Uh, just everything about Oblivion, I really like. Even, well, I say that. Looking deeper into Oblivion, though, literally everything, like, unfolds into this really disgusting, uh, dookie Sunday. So to speak. And like I said, I will explain that later. Yeah, so that's just telling you how to hockey stuff, which I've already done. I'll just grab a few of these, I guess. Now, one thing I will mention, though, is that one of the biggest problems with 
Oblivion is it's got level scaling, everyone's favorite thing in the world. So, you know, right now we're going through here, and you know, we're gonna be fighting rats and goblins. Whereas if we came here uh, at level 20, oh my god, this is gonna fire. Now, if we came here at level 20, instead we just have a bunch of ogres and uh, like, I don't know, just a bunch of higher tier enemies. So, like, every... There is no, like, zones, so to speak, that would, you know, make a game like this fun. Because, you know, you can go back to the low-level areas and just stomp regular enemies or whatever. And the scaling isn't good in this game at all. Like, that's the main problem. Like, level scaling? Eh, that's how I feel about it. But in this game, the level scaling is not good. There we go. Mor mortar and pestle. So, let me just go ahead and use that. I'm just going to make a few burner potions because this will give me uh, some experience I think I mean 30 XP I I used oblivion XP like once oh my god <laughs> yeah so here's also the other problem with playing oblivion today when you have all the DLCs you will just get spammed. And I mean spammed with message pop-ups. And when we get to the part where we're like about to leave, you'll see that come in full force. So yeah, I kind of like when this guy doesn't die. Because I would like to kill him for experience. Yeah, so there's a tripwire, and then that's the, this stuff comes down. You can hold down Z on PC <laughs> to uh, like move stuff. Which can cause hours upon hours of fun. Thank God this rat's already dead. So we get another chest over here. There's some gold, a dagger. Yeah, I'll take all your arrows. Yeah, see, like, the thing with, with Skyrim, right? Is, like, you're either going to play as, like, an uh, in-your-face warrior or, like, a sneaky sneak boy. Which, I mean, that is also exactly what happens in this game, too. But for the most part, if you wanted to, you can literally be a jack-of-all-trades. <coughs> as long as you, uh, remember not to max out your main attributes. I can't believe I just ruined a very easy lock. Uh, I will go ahead and just state that it's because this game on PC controls really weird. Like... It, then again, I don't know. I think it was it wasn't until Sky UI came out that like Skyrim had like a decent menu system. But in this game, it's like all based on your mouse. Like you can't just like hit up on the arrow keys for lock picking. You have to like move up on the mouse. And like when you have a multiple like a dialogue for picking up multiple items, you have to click OK. You can't just you know. Like enter or whatever. Oh my god, you're so fucking fast, dude. See, that can be a little weird. What the hell is this? Oh, okay, that opens up that. Oh yeah, so over there, you just saw him cast a little spell on himself. It's a mage. He's pretty cool. He doesn't really seem to give a shit that we're over here. Oh, okay, okay, hell yeah, he's stuck behind the treasure chest. Yeah, so our fatigue is low. Dude, I'm so sick at dodging and using cover. Whoa, look at that, dodge that. <laughs> oh no, I got hit. Yeah, I was gonna cast fire as I run at him. There we go. Oh no, dude, it just clipped through the floor. So, there we go, that's the first case of me getting oblivioned here. Soul gems are really important for later in the game when you actually have uh stuff also what's really important is repair hammers and more importantly getting that leveled up so that you can uh repair your repair your enchanted armor and repair it to 125 wow i just like clipped through the ground right there fuck off okay <laughs> man i'm sad that that uh staff is gone Well, that's that's fine. 
I didn't want it anyways. I didn't want to shoot electricity. And be cool. Oh yeah, let me just get my bow and arrow back out. I mean, I don't know. At least... I don't know, is this better than Skyrim's opening? At least it's not like an unskippable cutscene at the beginning of Oblivion. But, but then again, it's one of those things where if you're not using an alternate start mod for your Bethesda games, like every time I play Skyrim or Oblivion, I have one installed. Alternatively, you know, if you just, if you still want, you know, the vanilla experience, what you should be doing is making a save right before you leave whatever beginning dungeon there is. Okay. Oh, I missed. Where'd that arrow go? I actually don't want it. Yeah, calm down. No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. The Nine guide and protect us. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Well, wouldn't you know it? It is the mage. Give me more magicka. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Well, what about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the mage shall light your way on the paths of glory. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Well, aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. Where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to you Morris. You may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. Uh, I won't ask too many questions. Stick close and let us do our job. I'm not one of those red name question asking bitches. Oh, I do have 69 arrows, so that's nice. Alright, so what I like to do is uh, open up this chest, take this stuff, and then just jump down. It says, okay, so I'll, I'll be honest, I've, uh, <laughs> most of my time playing Oblivion on the Xbox and all that was spent playing with, like, on the lowest difficulty. Oh, fuck. My health isn't that low, dude. So, I'm used to like being able just to one-shot like everything, which is not the case when you play on the normal difficulty. Oh, get down from there, you coward. Yeah, get fucked, dude. Yeah, so they're gonna take their sweet time. I'm gonna go get into a little bit more trouble. <laughs> I'm just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna let you die to the blades. Yeah, it is. Hey, don't look behind you, brother, brother man. Oh, there we go. Ha, idiot. 
Hey, thanks, boys. Hey, there's still one more guy over here. You want to go kill him? Oh, there's two more. Dude, nice. Home run. Okay. Yeah, that's how you speed that up. Take these potions. Guess I'll just carry this torch. I'll do it for the sake of the video. Yeah, you have to wait until all these guys go through. Now we're going to the sanctum. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. Also, let me just say, playing this game on SSD, or like even like a modern hard drive, is like crazy when I consider playing this on the Xbox 360 back in the day and taking so long to load into everything. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I don't have a key. I do have a console, though. I'm gonna unlock anything. I can solve this right now. We can keep the Emperor alive. I just console command unlock the door. Alright, so down here we go. Now I just stand right here. Hey, slow skis, let's get a move on. see any good options here they're behind us wait here sire wait here with the emperor guard him with your life you got it no one's getting past me brothers oh, a lot of violence going on over there my gods are strong and true but even the might of the blades cannot stand against the power that rises to destroy us the Prince of Destruction awakes, born anew in blood and fire. These cutthroats are but his mortal pawns. Take my amulet, give it to Joffrey. I have a secret son, and Joffrey alone knows where to find him. Find the last of my blood, and close shut the marble jaws of oblivion. Your amulet? Then this is goodbye? This is where my journey ends. For you, though, the road is long and dangerous. Now, give me your hand. With all my heart, farewell. Stand true, my friend. May your heart be your guide, and the gods grant you strength. Yeah, try to get past me, bitch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love doing that. Look, you know, something my friend beat you up. Get that night eye potion. Can't loot the the emperor. I will go out here and see if these boys got anything. Only two gold. Oh hell yeah, katana brother! You know I'm gonna take this katana. This is my katana now. Don't mind me, man. We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the emperor now. He and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. The emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced acrobat. Am I right? 
I mean, not entirely wrong. Okay, so let me explain, to the best of my knowledge from a little bit of research before recording, the Oblivion Vanilla Leveling System. Alright, so I'm going to try to explain the Oblivion Leveling System really fast, as best as I can understand it. So, essentially, you want to make all of your major skills that you're selecting during this part things you aren't going to use. So, for instance, if you're going to use bladed weapons, select blunt as your major skill, not blade. Uh, if you're going to use destruction, I don't know, choose you know conjuration as a major skill. Because there's some weird thing with, like, you know, when you get five points in something, you get, like, an attribute bonus for, like, minor skills. And those things, like, don't really, they don't affect the scaling, but... You know, you level up your main things faster, and if you level them up too much, not only will you not be able to level up anymore, but, you know, that's going to cause the level scaling to go into effect. Uh, given this doesn't really matter, because I'm using a mod that changes the leveling system, but uh, the leveling in Oblivion is really terrible. Like, it's, I don't know, it's it's something else. There's nothing else quite like it, I think. So, it's really just about, if you're playing this vanilla... It's like, maybe get like a, like three skills that you will use in there, but the majority of them should be things you are not going to use, like mercantile or, you know, whatever. Just so you don't end up screwing yourself over in the long run. So, there you go. That's that's me explaining that. Uh, not very well, but good enough to where it gets the point across. Really? I would never have guessed. Still, I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. Well, after the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Crystal clear. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. Well, what about you? What are you going to do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Glenroy's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the Halls of the Blades. Aw, oh, man. He took my sword. Uh, so, Dunbarrow Cove. I'm not going to read this shit, so pause if you want to read all these pop-ups that are going to be happening over the next, you know, two minutes. I guess horse armor. The original debate of DLC being good or bad. Take all this. Now, I should have more spells for picking that stuff. So yeah, open very easy to lock. That's a, that's a good one. You really don't have a whole lot of <laughs> short like hotkeys to use in this game. Hold touch. And I guess shocking touch is for, for just giggles. I don't know. So yeah, this door needs a key. Otherwise, I just open it. And then, let's see, so... Yeah, should... I don't know, we should do more damage with our arrows now. So, I'm not totally sure if I was correct with my explanation of the leveling system. However, since I'm using Oblivion XP, this stuff shouldn't really matter. Ooh, we're, we are going to Battlehorn Castle, I'll tell you that. We're probably going to check out all these things, to be honest. I don't know if I picked up anything else. Hey, no. These are all things that are not going to work together. But it's fine. Because there's some stuff to the right. I'm gonna get a nice little sneak attack on this boy. Yeah, he gone. There's a rat over there. Boy, rate! Okay, too high. Dead. Oh, just angered a rat. Rat fucker! Okay, take all these cheese wheels, take all this, take all this flour, and now let's see if we can make some hella potions. Yeah, sure, this might be a waste of time. I don't know. I just think it gives me experience. <laughs> I don't know, the only thing left in the ticker is that, so maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's only when you do new potions. 
Whatever, I mean, this is just going to be gumming up my inventory. Maybe I'll eat these potions eventually. Ooh, garlic. Yeah, so... <clears throat> the, the last few rooms of this sewer here are... You know, so it's rather straightforward. It's nothing like... You know, Skyrim, where it's like, oh, here's... Well, I mean, I guess it does have the stealth section, but, you know... You really can just run through here if you want. I mean, you can run through Skyrims, too. But you you know what I mean. Hopefully. And now, a, a bit of word of warning, I guess, about the Oblivion series. These episodes might be long. Just given the nature of this game... Also, I just really want to show off one of my old saves here. Oh, no. It's not here. The last save I had when I started up originally was me with an AK-47. <laughs> so I was trying to find it. So... Yeah, these episodes might be long, and I understand that. I don't expect people to watch the whole thing in one sitting. I hardly watch a lot of videos in one sitting. So, with that say before leaving, let's exit this thing. You can jump off the surface of water. So here's your little introductory shot. Yeah, I know how to get there. So this game starts off with letting you just fast travel uh, wherever you want. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to fast travel necessarily for the first time going to a place. It's like if I'm going to a new city, I'm going to walk there. But I will be trimming down a hell of a lot of the, the, the video so you're not just sitting there watching me run. I mean, unless I have A, something to say, a story to talk about, or something happens along the way. So, let's just go in the water here. I'm gonna go touch this fish. I wanna pet the fish. Nice. Damage willpower? I don't know. Maybe this stuff will be useful later. Isn't there some, like, treasure chest in the water somewhere that has some good shit in it? So, I always go here first. This is, like, every time I play this game, I come here immediately after going out. I mean, it's kind of the point. Like, you're like, oh man, there's some ruins over there. Wow, did I really get spotted? Okay. Okay, yeah, sometimes that person can, like, start draining your endurance. I actually don't know. I'm gonna wait till I kill this guy to look at armor. Now, when you start getting good at sneaking, you can just like, shoot people with an arrow and then back away and then become hidden again. Look, man. It's gonna kill you. A nice run up and, and touch ya. <laughs> yeah, actually, look at that. So, one, two... for the boots and chest piece. Okay, so this is better. Let's take all these arrows. Eh, I don't have any arrows in me, which is nice, I guess. Oh, yeah, one thing I will recommend if you're playing this game after playing like Skyrim and like Fallout is they by default, well by default, jump is E and space is the used button. Uh, but R and F are switched, so you should change that so that R takes out your gun or your weapon and F will change perspectives. Oh, that's right. So there are these alien wells. Draw power. So let's see. What did we get? Go over to the Magicka tab and go to the thing. Okay, so fortify magic. Oh, well, no, that's... Yeah, so that's what that did. So hell yeah. Just going to pick up some more f vegetables Ooh, and some gold. Also, I just want to... The music in this game is so good. I don't really remember a lot of the music from Skyrim. But I'll tell you what. I can hear something from Oblivion and be like, Yep, that's fucking Oblivion. Let's go, dude. So here we have the first real dungeon, I guess, after uh, the intro. I don't know where this guy is going to be. Yeah, definitely was the wind fucker. 
When I find your ass, it's grass. Oh, I... Look, if you can't kill him with the stealth, just go over there and touch him. <laughs> just, you know, you're like, you know what? They're like... Well, they're like, oh my god, you're so cold. And they were like, oh, everyone come here. Feel how cold this person is. That's literally me. I'm forcing my hand onto people to be like, dude, check out how cold I am, bro. I'm sure, you know, like, especially, like, I remember that in high school. They're like, oh my god, you're as cold as, as death. Like, everyone, come, like... Put your hand on so-and-so's arm. Feel how cold they are. I'm so glad that I don't have to exist in high school anymore. I tell you what, man. All right, well, we're about to... We're, we're bound to level up before we leave here, so that will be the, the real test on what the hell's going on here. And now there are more things you can get, like the motor and pestle, and there's the... I don't know, there's some other stuff that will allow you to do more stuff with alchemy. Like I said, I maybe it's not even worth me doing it because like I really only did it before because like you know attribute bonuses and vanilla leveling. Yeah, I don't know the, the like the fact that the leveling works like it did is hilarious because it's so stupid. Who's there? Look, you don't know shit. Are you sure? You really don't seem like you're going to be putting up a fight at all. Like, I'm going to fucking run full speed at you and then touch you. My personality's be drained. I don't even have that to begin with, man. What was that? I'm sorry. I can hear the sound of me just putting my hand on your chest. Fuck, man. How am I going to deal with my personality being drained? Is that so, huh? Ever seen a mob crab do this? <laughs> then stop running away, coward. No, I thought mob crabs were fiercer than you. Bitch. Okay, so I, I, I'm gonna go back up there, because there's some stuff I want. But I guess I'm just gonna pick up all these arrows that I've shot on the ground. Oh, look at all this... All these veggies, man. Now, I can never remember if those stat drains are just for the duration. Or... Okay, yeah, no, that was a temporary drain. Like, I feel like some people just, like, fucking hit you with some hard, like, stat debuffs. I think I was just wildly swinging them while running at me. Now, maybe I should really just like go switch over to daggers if I'm gonna use a weapon, you know. I'm, I'm gonna play this kind of, you know, stealthily, but also spamming magic and probably still running at people. Okay, I've already checked all these. More torches. Take all this. And now Oh yeah, more more stuff. This is this is what I'm here for. Now I don't want the mead. The meat can go eat a dick. Meat is poopy. How do I drop stuff, actually? Uh, okay, so you have to hold shift and click to drop stuff. Alright, so over here we have, uh, Welkin Stone. Those fill up your Magicka. They're, like, kind of important, I feel like. I just don't remember exactly why. Here, let's open up this gate. Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna get zooted on Welkin Stones. Ooh, loose gold. It's like always the worst thing when playing one of these games. Guide to the Imperial City. Nothing of, of cool. Nothing of, of notice. Some of the men were worried about these old ruins being haunted. Okay, nice story. Don't care. Nice bed, though. Ooh, a leak. Some corn. Cloth, hourglass, pewter bowl, don't care. Chest, do care. Ooh, wait, what am I doing? I should be using the spell. Hell yeah. Oh, I don't know if that 
gives me experience. Because uh, the, this Oblivion XP mod changes stuff. Alright, I shouldn't take any damage if I fall, but if I do, I can just heal it. That's what I'm here for. Can I jump along Crouch in this game? No. Can't do this, though. But if you want to run at me... It's your prerogative, man. Like, I feel like, do I even need to go and, like, grab all my arrows like I'm doing? I think like I'll probably be fine enough. I don't know, but I want all these carrots, though. I want all these fruits and vegetables. Got a pocket full of them. What is this? Is that not something? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to, like, Z... Z grab it. All right, let's go to the Vilverin Canacel. I'm sure I butchered that. It's fine. And there might start to be some traps in here or something. I guess let's do this for the sake of leveling, huh? Big potion of light. Bone meal of gold. I think I have two things that damage fatigue now. Get a whole lot of restores. Oh yeah, there we go. Some rat meat. First, we'll just do this. Hell yeah. Don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to do it anyways. Nothing else ever restores intelligence. Fatigue damage juice. <laughs> Boom. So much fatigue juice. Okay, what do we got over here? This looks to be a pressure plate. Oh, a secret passage. A dead body. <laughs> Give me all your arrows. I got as much gold as the refresh rate of my monitor. Ooh, more secret passages. This one's got a zombo in it. This dude seems tough. What the fuck? Are zombies, like, immune to magic? Or is this guy just... No, because I killed one with a fireball earlier. This guy's just a tough... Tough man. Fine. I have infinite juice to touch this man for days. <laughs> Never mind. I just said a fib. Okay. He did. Uh, only one arrow back out of that. What a joke. Level two. I doubt it had to do with the level, right? Anything cool down here? Ooh, more down stuff. Okay, let's get let's try to get a sneak attack on him. Damn, are they just like like they only care about the actual being sliced thing? Well, I mean that did do quite a bit of damage for one hit. Okay, so play this game. Whoops. I meant to be on Hurts to, to piss move. Actually, let's try shocking touch. Where'd it go? I mean maybe. Nah. There we go. I got three back from this one at least. I mean, like, I feel like I don't remember. Like, I remember, like, this room, like, getting here. I still remember, like, all these secret passages. 
Healing chest, healing cure disease potion, potion of dispel, and another cure poison. Alright, Skeleman shouldn't be that tough, right? There we go, yeah, half health. Oh man, jump, Mr. Bones, jump. Okay, there's something in the water. There's clearly a, a way through down there. Let's see what else we've possibly missed. <clears throat> or rather, what we could possibly miss. Another skeleton man. Get back here. Jumping for joy. Okay, let's just go see what we got. Now, if you're an Argonian, you have unlimited breath in the water. Unfortunately for us, we are not Argonians. Unfortunately, it wasn't like it was that big anyways. I don't know if like enemies have like weaknesses. Oh my god, yeah, you do not like electricity, huh? You know, I should maybe check how much damage this does. Yeah, okay, I should I should have grabbed one of these a long time ago. Give me all of this. Ooh, an average one. I'm waiting for it to like go up slow like that, yeah. God, it's so hard to do with a mouse. Like on Xbox, that's so easy. But it's really hard on PC. <laughs> at least at least for me. I've accepted that I'm bad. So it's fine. Whatever, free experience, baby. Especially when there's like nothing to gain out of that. Like why why is that even locked? Iron arrows. How well is this door locked? Yeah, another easy one. Wow, he hit me through the door. Holy shit. Why'd he explode? More gold. Oh, wait. That explosion was because I leveled up. Okay, yeah, so let's check this out. Choose which attributes to increase. Okay. Ooh, I kind of want this one up. I don't know why this one was so low. Okay, so maybe... Yeah, light arm acrobatics. Oh, because I did intelligence. That's why. Willpower sounds kind of nice. Um, maybe I'll just... I've been using the bow a lot and sneaking, so I'm just going to upgrade this a bit. Oh, okay, I can only do plus five per. Got it. So... Put a few points into intelligence. And then willpower it is for that. Okay, so 48 points to put into this stuff. So... Okay, so it takes three for this. I can only do plus five for each of these, okay. Yeah, so I want to get this, that, I only got two points left. Oh, maybe I should do... Marksman. Okay, yeah, I think I'm fine with that. I thought my game was going to crash there. Okay, average. Whoops. There we go. Easy. Easy. 
And so thanks for all of your experience points. Oh, shit, I didn't realize I'm pretty much at an hour, so I might as I, I should probably try to hurry this dungeon up. Come on now. Now I still have to like buy spells and shit, right? I'm not just gonna have more. Yeah. Oh, I do have chameleon though. Yeah, I need to, I need to enchant four pieces of armor to have 25% chameleon, so I'm just always invisible. I remember I was playing Fallout 4, and I had a mod that gave me, you know, like, Solid Snake's Octo Camo from Elder Solid 4. And, like, it just, it always had Chameleon on. But there's, like, a weird bug with, or, like, the way Chameleon works is, like, it's really super ugly. So, like, you have to, like, get a mod to, like, make Chameleon not just make everything blue. Okay. Take these stones. Be careful of the floor. <laughs> so easy, you can just walk along the wall. So now this should do more damage, right? Mildly. Nice. Give me all this stuff, Bonehead. Every last bit of it. Okay, we'll go right first. Everyone's getting shocked today, brother. I mean, why are these skeletons level 1, but the zombies level 2? Hey. Anything in here I should hear about? Very easy chest. I'm not sure if, like, it's just better to lick... Lo lick? <laughs> yes, I want to lick the treasure chest, please. If it's better just to lock pick as opposed to using the spell. Because I don't think I get points for using the spell. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll look at the blocks in a second. Maybe just lock picks or opens up that door. Oh, okay, wait, we open our passages here? Nice. This one's checking. Yeah, this didn't seem to open anything. There we go. The guys just don't care. I am... Fuck, this might just become a mage character at this point. I fucking love magic and oblivion. Ah, the chamber, the key. Oh, I hear you in there. Don't worry. We're fighting. <laughs> I just love the uh, ragdoll, I guess. Okay. What is this? Chest. A weak potion of dispel. So no experience, but I get to use a key. This seems like this is almost maybe the end of the dungeon. Cool, the skeleton's blind. I mean, you know, because it makes sense. Like, their eyes have fallen out of their head. How can they see shit anyways? Look, are you sure you saw me? You just know you got hit. You can't even tell which way it came from because it just bounces off your damn bones, dude. So there's a path over there. What about over here? There is not, so this way we go. Uh, battle music. Oh. oh. Hey, you're, you're, you're making me turn around from what I just did. Varla Stone. Okay, what does this do? Different. I don't know. I won't use it. I'll look into it after the episode. Well, I that it does sure cost a pretty penny. Or maybe I can put it in my house. Vilver and 
Cell Sacramenti. And this shit's long. I don't remember this being this long. Maybe I never did this correctly. Which I wouldn't be surprised about, honestly. Oh, shit. Okay, easy. Ah, an alien statue. Go this way first. <laughs> Fuck out of the way. Weak potion of sorcery. I'm so glad it's so easy to get through this. Come on now. Give me the slow one. <laughs> oh, I just dodged that shit. Did you see that? That was sick. Alright. Is that all that's in here? Alright, so go figure. Straight ahead was the correct answer. Okay, so there's going to be some kind of bozo. Oh, I see him. I see him over there. Hey, idiot. Knock, knock. Uh-oh, uh, no, 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 necromancer. Yeah. Get you and your little demon out of here. Copper ring. Well, I ain't no necromancer, so I ain't wearing that shit. Nice candles. Ooh, sacred lotus. I already have a motor and pestle. Oh, I've got some lockpicks hanging out. Ooh, the sepulchre key. Undelivered letter. Uh, yeah, nice fucking novel, dude. I don't care. Some gold on top of here, too. Copper necklace. Resist fire burgundy linens. I'll just be taking those. You never know when you're going to need a... Uh, well, there we go. Is this not, like, gonna increase my thing here? You don't know when you're gonna need some pants that won't get set on fire. Walking through a ruined city, perhaps? What is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be taking this. Whether or not I'll ever be using it, who knows. But it's probably the better choice. I see a vine like that, and I get afraid, because I've been playing Half-Life. I played through Black Mesa the other day, from start to finish, and it was pretty good. Even if Interloper is far too fucking long. At least it's by the by better than regular Zen. Anyways, is this just the start of the dungeon? It is. Cool. Well, let's just go ahead and step foot out, and we'll set up camp for the night. So, it is here we shall remain until we meet again. So, first episode, it's a long boy, but we got out of the dungeon and we did another dungeon. So next time, we are going to find ourselves... Well, where's Coral from here? I remember it's like kind of far away. Skin Grad, Kavach, Anvil, on the line. Yeah, that's some of the DLC shit. Okay, so next time we're going to be going... Pretty much due west to get to the Wayne in Priori. So, until then, I'm Trantia, and you guys have a good day.